One of the first projects I like to tackle is kind of a budget garage makeover. Partially because I'm still in the process of moving in and then partially because I'm also in the middle of fixing the wagon yet again. Garage is a bit of a disaster right now and I don't want it to continually just be this crap pile. As you can kind of tell, it was mostly unfinished anyhow when I moved in. I got three different color walls. It's a, a bunch of exposed wood and even up top, it's just nasty, let's be blunt here. Furthermore, it's not really easy to work in this space because the lighting isn't great either. Granted, it's daytime right now, but anyhow, this light doesn't work at all. That one is horribly dim over the front of the car and during the day, it provides no light at all and it provides pretty much negligible amounts at night. So here's our goals for the budget job that we're trying to achieve. One, improve storage because this is a disaster. Two, better lighting so it's actually usable, especially at night. The majority of people, myself included, when they're working on a vehicle, it's probably after work for a few hours, so they kind of need that visibility at night, and this is no exception to that. Three, I want it to be more appealing than it is, because I mean, look at this, it's just so many spots of different colors, and it's not really a welcoming place that I'm proud of. And our final goal is to keep it within a reasonable budget. Obviously, I just purchased the house. There's a lot of closing costs and things associated with that. So that kind of broke the bank a bit. Also, uh, all the stuff you need as a new homeowner that you just don't even think of. Like, for example, a push broom is like $40. Now multiply that by about 50 things that are about that expensive, and then you kind of get the point. It adds up really quick. So I'm not gonna have a set budget. I wanna keep it under $1,000 total if possible. Lower is obviously better, but if I can get twice as much effect for not a whole lot more, then it might just be worth spending the extra up front. And in the meantime, in case you don't recognize her, here is a four-year-old Aspen and a little, almost a year old, puppy Winnie. Yeah, I know, you're gonna look so old if they ever watch this. Yeah, you're a good girl. Anyway, let's get started. With our goals in mind, what we're trying to do with this project, as with all home ownership projects, is maximize our return on investment or the equity that we're building for the amount of money spent and to maximize the difference that we see and get the most improvement possible for that same money spent. What I intend to do here is take a phased approach to this project. The first is obviously going to be sort through and clean out everything that I can. As you can see here, I'm already throwing out what I know I don't need, and I'm going to try to move everything that I know is going to get stored in the basement normally out of the room so I have more room to work with. After that, the biggest difference that we are going to visually make is going to be paint and lighting. That's going to be its own phase. Anyone who has ever done a home remodel or tried to flip a house or anything will tell you paint hides a lot of sin, and that is going to be the biggest visual difference you can get for your money. After the paint and lighting are done, I want to work on the workbench and the storage solutions in this space so that I can try to maximize my use of the area. At this point, I'm anticipating that the workbench and the storage solutions is going to be the longest phase of the project and eat up the most of my time. The final phase of this project is going to be putting on the finishing touches, buttoning up the area, and really making it my own. That's where the whole space is going to come together and have a nice final appearance. I know a lot of home improvement stores such as Lowe's or Home Depot like to sponsor renovations like these, but then when you price out everything that was done in the video, the materials alone is several thousand dollars. That being said, I'm doing this without any sponsors. I want to see what is the most improvement that I can make not being sponsored, not advocating for a business nearby, and instead just trying to do the best budget first time homeowner build that I can do. I'm really excited to get this done. I'm really hoping it turns out great, and I want to thank you guys for watching.